Hello everyone and welcome back to John Bill's Iconic Much Malls. So I'm going to start by wishing everybody a happy new year. So I really hope for everybody, including myself, that 2022 is going to be a kind of better year and we can kind of all get back to a little bit of something kind of normal. Okay, so as you can see, I've got this uh, this beautiful 184 scale HMS Victory on the uh, on the bench again. It's been on the shelf for a couple of months. Like I say I had a couple of two or three months solid working on it, and I kind of put it on the uh, the shelf again. So what I've decided to do today, because it's the first day, obviously the first day of January, and because I, I felt like that I, I'm a little bit underachieved from my victory last year. I, I, I felt like even though I, the victory built my channel, that I didn't give it as much attention as I should have done last year, and that's my fault really. As I, my channel evolved, I got different opportunities to build different models. So I kind of feel like a neglected victory, but by just actually putting the mass on, this is actually the first time that I've had all the mass on and obviously all the uh, all the yards. This is the first time in nearly two years that I've actually added the uh, the mass. So I said my big question is that I want to kind of hope and obviously answer this year is can I get it finished this year? And I really hope that I can, but I do know that I really need to obviously knuckle down and try and get it finished. I felt like I made a lot of mistakes with the, once when I first started my channel that I, I made a lot of videos that maybe weren't as important to people as like the, the, the obviously I've got really about five or six main videos like painting the hall and like obviously adding the figurehead and obviously the stern gallery so I really wish I kind of would have concentrated on them kind of videos rather than doing a massive 80 to 100 obviously uh, series and like I say, so if I'd have broke it down into around about 20 parts, I probably feel like I would have uh, finished that already. I think Victory would have been finished if I'd have just concentrated on the things that I think people really wanted to see. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to get the handy cam, kind of go around Victory and like, let you ever see it. It's, it's pretty much, I'd say it's around about 80% complete. I think structurally wise, it's pretty much it's pretty much done there's obviously a few more th uh, things that I still need to make mainly the uh the quarter deck needs all this kind of furniture and uh, obviously that kind of thing's added but structurally wise obviously all the holes complete obviously the uh, the bows complete they still need some little bits of dolphin strikes is obviously all the stern is complete just the same thing little lanterns and stuff like that but then it's really going to be other the next biggest job which is going to be the rigging i'm not looking forward to that to myself because i haven't rigged the ship for 20 years so yeah i'm kind of humming and in just uh, how much i'm gonna actually look forward to that as i'm gonna have to learn again as well as the older skills that i knew um, 20 years ago it's like say it's, even with this build it's i've had to learn as i've gone along like i say a lot of mistakes that i've had to correct when i first did my main mast I built it to the instructions, and then when I did my form mast, I kind of started scratch building things. So then what I had to do is I had to go back and I had to make my main mast, obviously, and look exactly the same as my form mast, and then same again with the mizzen mast, I had to make them all the same. So I probably spent around about 25% of the build correcting early mistakes when I just followed the instructions, because I had to kind of learn myself. I had to kind of re-remember all my skills, as I did remember them. And then I thought, well, I can't leave it like this because now I can remember how I did things. So then, then I, the things I'd already spent weeks and months building, I had to change. So I've probably spent six months altering parts as I'm getting better. But I'd say now that I'm pretty much almost 100% happy that how the appearance is. I don't think there's anything else that I really need to correct that's going to make it any more, obviously, more how I like it, obviously, the appearance. Okay, so I say I'm going to go around it, but the handicap. Like you have a kind of look at it, how it looks, obviously it's full glory because all you can pretty much see is there, it goes up about another two foot and then we'll come back. Okay, so as I was talking about earlier, this is the kind of the full overview where all the mass and yards fit and that's to say that's the first time in, in I'd say two years since they put out all the mass and yards are bad. Nobody comment that they're not in the right positions, I know. I've just had to like just lean them on. On the uh, on the fighting tops, just just just, just a vis visible representation. That's how I kind of you know, kind of give you all the impression of how it's going to look. So the bows are around about ninety percent, five percent complete. And that's one of the real jobs that I paid a lot of attention to in uh, two thousand twenty-one, and I really wanted to get that correct. So I never felt like there was any real rush to get this completed. And I don't think there should be any kind of these one ship boats. I don't think there should be any kind of rush when you get to a stage where you've had enough because it's time consuming and it's so, it, it, it just, it consumes you. 
there's just so many parts to be fitted and many times I kind of look what nail saw needs to be fitted and I can get very overwhelmed by just how much there is to do so one of the things I've tried to do is just kind of break it down into little sections and just work it as one section at a time rather than the whole big picture that's just still got maybe a year's work so that's the, the forecastle that's what I would say the same again around about 95% complete carry needs need rigging there's a couple more cannons cannons need fitting but I would say that's almost complete weather deck I still need some work it needs a nice handrail put around there I've actually bought some nice uh, aftermarket parts from a matty some nice handrails to kind of just look 100 times better than the kit ones and then obviously the steps they need fitting kind of this section this is probably the section that still needs the most work i still know i've got to fit all this grating i've still got to fit this section all the hammocks they all need doing there's a lot of them to be need fitting so that's probably one of my next jobs i'm going to start working on is fitting all the uh, hammocks and they kind of go all the way along all the capping pretty much wherever you can see capping they pretty much go all the hammocks that's got a lot of work still to be done but we are getting there that's a little the pinnacle that's actually an early prototype from Woody's model works you can see sent me that around about two years ago I've got a couple more that I'm just going to probably paint myself but that will be fitted and if anybody's seen the pinnacle that you make from the kit People will know that it's just 100 times more accurate so that'll be fitted a little bit later on same again poop deck that's around about 95 percent complete i keep saying 95 percent for complete so because that's pretty much what most things are just a little final touches that's going to bring it all together i also finished all the gun ports they all got added 2021 so that's kind of them done i've started to work on some of the uh, the chain chain rail and I've managed to do quite a bit on the starboard side but I've not actually touched any on the port side yet the same again it's just it's just time consuming it's hundreds to do you don't just make one you don't make one link you make three links per one and then then there's obviously times out by maybe a hundred so it's just time consuming and then this is the uh, the gallery and same again I'd say 95% complete everything's all fitted and painted just some lanterns need fitting little bits of chain just things like that just just minor jobs that just as everybody knows who, who built one ships just these minor jobs add up to weeks and months rather than hours and days so then this is the, the foremast and like i said this has been finished maybe two years just kind of in storage way into when i get to the, uh, the rigging section like I say, I've spent a lot of time when I first made the, the main mast and built that from the instructions. And then obviously I got the uh, anatomy of Nelson ships and I realised that they were completely wrong. And by then I started to remember a lot of the, uh, the basic wood, wooden ship building techniques that I'd, I'd learned 20 years previously, but I kind of forgot again. So after I'd finished off the, uh, the main mast, when I uh, built the foremast, I made this very much to the uh, the plans from the anatomy of Nelson ship. So then after I'd done that, and I'd kind of made that, just really looking at drawings, I had to completely go back and everything that I'd done with the main mast, all that to be reworked. So it's just it's adding more time. It's adding, uh, you mean months, I say months, not days. But we are slowly but surely getting there so i would say the the actual hull the wooden construction of the ship i'd say is actually 90 percent complete and i'd say there's, there's not a great deal that actually left to do there's not much wood i've barely got any wood left at all from the kit so hopefully we can get that knocked away very soon and then i can start working on adding all the rigging okay so i'll show you one more long shot the uh, victory and then we'll kind of go back to the face cam okay so i hope you like that virtual tour 
Like I say, so now my plan is, like I've just said before, is a lot of these little, just niggly little jobs, they're very difficult to film. And, and from my experience, I've had to do all the, all the little parts for obviously the uh, the forecastle. And some of these like little, when I did like the main stairway, they just weren't very popular. And I mean, it never really got me, nobody really subscribed to them kind of videos. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go away now, spend a bit of time just finishing off some of these little jobs they have in January, so I can then kind of crack it really on, and then I'll do you another update in February where I've kind of finished all these little jobs, and then we can kind of start the rigging because I think that's what people really looking forward to next. The next section of the build is the rigging. So if I don't really spend too much time, you know, filming the parts that people aren't really that bothered about seeing, I can kind of get this knocked off, and then we we'll get onto the rigging that I know people are really interested in seeing. So I know I'm building the uh, plastic Titanic from Trumpeton and building the metal Titanic from Hasher, but wooden ships will always be my first first love. I think it's it just teaches you so many more modeling skills. I think I think it's I mean it's my opinion, and a lot of people agree with me, but I actually think the art of wooden ship building is the hardest model building discipline there is. I just think it does because it's such a variety of different kind of skills and techniques that you have to use. It's everything, it's tools, it's then it's painting as well. And I think, like I say, once this is done, to, when I look back and I think this has all been made from some nice cut out ribs and all to just planks of wood and they've completely made this, it's just, a, it's just an art. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Like I said, I'm probably gonna deal with uh, an update again in February. Right, so all the all the progress I made in January, and then hopefully we can kind of get onto the rigging. Okay, so thank you for watching this uh, update video. Let's say if this is the first video you've caught and you'd like to see some of this this build, I've got nearly 80, 80 builds on the uh, on the channel now. Like I say, some of them I've actually taken down. Some of the old ones were really poor sound. I've actually removed them because I don't think they were doing anything for the channel. Probably in some ways it was hindering the channel. So a lot of them older ones have been taken down, but you can still see a lot of the newer progress obviously later on 2020 and 2021 okay so thank you for watching today's video if you enjoyed it don't forget to give me a thumbs up and i'll see you all again soon take care everyone